My name is Jonas Urbanas. I'm a senior product engineer with Mori Microwave. And today I would like to present to you a Vertigo Millimeter Wave Active Load Pool solution that can be configured to perform active vector receiver load pool measurements up to 1.1 terahertz. The use of millimeter wave frequencies and millimeter wave active devices has seen a substantial increase in recent years, and they find applications in many different fields, such as radio astronomy, radar, telecommunications, and others. The performance of these millimeter wave transistors operating at and above 100 GHz can be highly dependent on the load impedance that is being presented to them. Moreover, the gain of such transistors is generally quite low, as they are operating close to their FT or Fmax values. So an increase of even a tenth of a dB in gain, or an extra percentage point gained in device efficiency can mean a substantial overall performance increase for the semiconductor technology. Load pool measurements are needed to quantify the performance dependence of a transistor on its load impedance. Passive load pool measurements, however, exhibit significant loss at millimeter wave frequencies, so active load pool measurements need to be performed, and that is exactly what Vertigo Millimeter Wave Active Load Pool Setup is configured to do. It allows us to accurately present various load impedances to our device under test and measure all the parameters associated with the device performance, such as power added efficiency, output power, power gain, and others. Before we measure our device, we need to configure the setup. To do that, we need to start the Millimeter Wave Studio software suite. To perform a load pool measurement, we select the DUT measurement option in the main menu and click Next. A DUT measurement selection window shows up, where we need to select whether we are performing a power controlled S parameter or a large signal measurement. As we want to perform load pool measurements, we will be selecting the large signal option. Now we need to configure our load pool measurement. Once that is done, we can click OK and we are taken to the data display window. Before we can perform the load pool measurement, we need to bias our device. And once the device is biased correctly, we can start the load pool measurement by clicking on the measure button. When the measurement is finished, the results are shown in the data display window. Now we can plot the load pool contours at the desired gain compression point. We can also plot the contours for various other parameters as desired. In summary, the Vertigo Millimeter Wave Active Load Pool System is a crucial tool to fully characterize the performance of active devices at frequencies up to 1.1 terahertz. For more information on this or any other device characterization solution, please visit moremw.com or contact your local field engineer. Thanks for watching.